In this video, we will show you how to submit routine locate requests. After logging in and while looking at the main menu, select Submit a Locate Request. This will take you to the iTIC User Information and Excavator Information sections. Be sure your name and contact info are in the iTIC User Information section. Confirm all excavator information, making any necessary changes. When you are finished, click Next Step. This will take you to steps 1 and 2. First, step 1, on-site contact information. Enter the name and telephone number of someone who will be on-site during the excavation. If you will be the only person on-site during the excavation, enter SAME in the alternate contact field. Step 2 is excavation information. For type of work, enter the purpose of the excavation, and not the method. You can use the keyword auto search function in this field. For instance, entering a word like install will generate a list of potential matches. For the next field, work being done for, enter the name of the person, company, or organization you will be doing the excavation for. For the duration field, enter the amount of time you expect the excavation to take. The next two questions refer to your method of excavation. Select Y for yes or N for no. When you are ready, click Next Step. You will then be taken to Step 3, Location Information. Using the drop-down menu, select the county you will be working in. Then enter the name of the city you will be working in, in the City Place field. If your work is taking place outside of city limits, enter the name of the nearest city that is within the county you have selected. In the House Number field, enter the number of the worksite's address. If there is no physical address, leave this field blank. In the Street field, enter the name of the Dig Street. You may use the keyword Auto Search function here as well. For the closest cross street field, enter the name of the road that intersects the dig street closest to where the digging will take place. Please keep in mind that this will not necessarily be a major intersection. In location of work, enter a complete description of your entire excavation area. Be as detailed as possible. Describe any area where excavation may take place, and not just where you believe lines might be buried. If you have provided township range and section information, Select Y or Yes for the Caller Provided TRSQ question. Otherwise, select N for No. Township range and section information is not required. Next is Step 4, the Map It section. In this section, you will need to select an area on the map that will completely encompass your entire excavation area. The iTIC computer thinks it has found a match for the address that I have entered. This potential match is represented by a place mark on the map. There are several tools in the Map It section that can help ensure you are mapping in the correct area. Selecting the Identify tool will allow you to click on certain map features to learn more information about them. This information will be displayed at the bottom of the Map section after the word Highlight. Once you have found the correct location, you will need to select an area on the map that will completely encompass your entire dig site. You will do this by selecting a computer-generated polygon or by drawing your own. If the Change Shape button is available, you can use it to cycle through a list of computer-generated polygons. The Change Size button can be used to expand or contract computer-generated polygons. When mapping your locate request, it is important to map as small an area as possible while still encompassing your entire dig site. For example, if work was taking place throughout the entire block of the above address, this might be an appropriate mapping. However, on this particular project, work is confined to a single address. Since parcel data is available in this area, I am able to map the single address where the work is taking place. To hand draw your polygon, first click the clear button, located in the lower right corner of the map. This will remove the computer generated polygon. Then select the draw tool. With the draw tool active, start drawing your polygon by clicking on the map where you would like to begin. Continue to draw until your entire excavation area is encompassed. To close out the polygon, simply click on the same point that you began. You may also cycle through alternate map views to ensure you have mapped in the correct area, or, when possible, to narrow down your mapping even further. 
the satellite view will display a satellite image of the area. Since the entire extent of the worksite is between the front of the house and the rear lot line, the polygon can be narrowed down even more with the aid of satellite imagery. To reshape the polygon, click on one of the corner points you have made, drag it to the desired location, and release. Continue this process until the desired shape has been achieved. The Google Map is based on information from the Google Maps database. The hybrid map is a combination of OCC mapping and satellite imagery. You will need to have the OCC map selected in order to approve your polygon. Once you are sure your entire worksite is encompassed, move to step 5, start date information. The start date and time will automatically default to the earliest available time, based on when you are filing your ticket. If you will begin your work at a later date or time, you can adjust your start date and time by using the calendar buttons and the drop-down menus. Keep in mind though that if you do select a later date and or time, you are agreeing to postpone your excavation until that point. When you are ready, click Next Step. This will take you to the Utility Notification screen. This is a complete list of the utilities that will be notified as a result of your ticket. If there is a utility that you know to be missing from this list, it may be wise to return to the map section and remap the area. At this point, clicking Next Step will submit your locate request to the call center for review. You may now begin a new ticket or click Finished to return to the main menu.